It's Saturday. That means one thing. It is electronic palette day. So I got for you today. I have a hopefully a decent palette. I got two huge brown boxes on one wooden palette. Each box actually had pretty good weight to it. I'd say it's a good 25 pounds a box at least. 25, 30 pounds. So these have some weight to them. So hopefully they're not just full of like computer uh, printer paper. Cause that is a possibility when it comes to, to liquidations. Like that honestly is a possibility, but hopefully not. So the total MSRP of these two boxes on one pallet is $2,011. So that's a pretty good price point. Those $2,000 pallets, you know, they can have some pretty, pretty good, like big hits in these boxes. They can, not always, but they can. But my price that I paid, all I paid, $235. So that's a, what, what, 11% or so of MSRP. My goal is 10, so I pretty much hit it. This week, electronic prices on pallets went down because they had plenty to purchase. Last week, I couldn't get any because there was very, very few available and the ones that were available, prices got really high on them. This week though, different story. I ended up picking up four electronic pallets this week. So we might be seeing a lot of electronics during the week also coming up. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's get going. I will stop rambling. First box, come on. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, this thing on top's not bad. We have a record player, a Victrola Bluetooth turntable. Three speed turntable, Bluetooth connectivity, stereo speakers and a three millimeter aux in headphone jack. So this will connect to Bluetooth speakers and you can play it that way. So. This isn't bad right here. I know the last palette video, actually for a hodgepodge, I got out this one, but I think it was like light blue, if I remember correctly. And was it like $35, $40? The top of the box here is missing. Oh, disregard. Here's the top of the box. It got ripped off. So um, as long as this thing works, uh, that's you know a good 35, 40 bucks or so. So hopefully, Hopefully it works. So that's the first item. That's not a bad way to start. Oh, I see some computer paper, printer paper. Hopefully this is it. Let me take a little gander real quick. Yes, that is the only computer paper in this box is this. So. This is oversized computer paper. It's probably like, what, eight by 12. And most of the paper is kind of damaged. So that is going to my, my donation stack. Oh, TV antenna. I think we actually needed one more of these in our house. I think we might have. I'm not sure, I think we did though. But yeah, we actually cut the cable cord last year, maybe late 2017, early 2018. Might've been 2017. But we finally cut the cable cord, so we have now, we use the Sony, the, uh, the PSVU. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the PSVU, which is like the live internet uh, like cable TV package through the internet. And it's like half of the cost of like a cable package. We used to have Comcast, then we had Bright House, but now we have our TV through the internet through Sony PSVU for like 50 bucks a month, and we get as many channels as you could think of. So it's a fantastic deal, but we don't get local CBS. The only channel we don't get is our CBS. So we have antennas on most of the TV sets in the house just to get the CBS channel. Even though I don't really watch CBS, only I think during football season pretty much is when I watch CBS. That's about it. Next, we have Fitech Phone. Man, I get so many of these things, but they sell really, really quickly though. But used condition, oh, open box item. I sell them for like 
10 bucks. Uh, sometimes a little bit more than that, depending on how quickly they sell. If they're selling like this, I'll raise prices on them a little bit. You know, if they're not selling well, like $10. I think I'm actually out of stock right now with those. So I might actually raise the price a little bit. Never seen this. We have a USB charging clock radio, dual wake RCA. Dual wake audio in, no worry. Brightness control. That's got a de decent item. It's probably like, what, 20 bucks or so right there. Let me see. Condition. Glance in. Okay, so it, it, it isn't like factory packaged. It has been taken out before, so it was probably used. But, yeah. Still, that's not bad. Ooh. LG V30. Looks like a protector shield, and it's already been used and returned with an empty package. It happens. Let's see. Oh, here is a, a watch, a pink watch. Jojo. Super cute Jojo. Guess it must be a TV show or something that I don't know much about. Super cute Jojo. 2018 at Nickelodeon. Yeah, a Jojo watch. Needs a new battery though. Battery's dead. I don't know, like 10 bucks in that. Probably not very much. More than likely. We got some decent items in here though. This is going to be a decent box to go through. We have a whole bag of battery. This is a D size batteries. I don't think I have any D batteries or very, very few. So I'll, I'll keep those even though I have nothing to really use those on, but they'll come the day when I need one. Another V tech phone, another 10 bucks right there. What are you? Don't know what it is. Oh, this is the thing they put onto your phone for, for like the back of it. Yeah, it is. Just that thing you put in the back of your phone and then you can like hold it, you know, like that. Open package item, everything in it's loose. So that's not really, you know, very profitable. That'll probably just go into uh, one of my mystery boxes that I sell for $40. More than likely, I put in a bunch of just like, you know, small little throwing stuff like that into my boxes. Just, you know, kind of like this. This phone case. Good chance I'll just put it into one of my mystery boxes. Just kind of like a throw in thing. Stuff like this. It, I don't know what phone this is for, but yeah. That's probably where that will go into one of my mystery boxes. Otter box case. Used. Samsung Galaxy S7. I think that's I think that's older model Galaxy. I'm pretty sure it is. So probably not much much more like 15 bucks or so on that. Let's see. We have an Instax Mini 9 Fuji Film camera. New used. Uh does look used. It has a strap with it though, at least. So it has all the accessories, instructions. Uh, what's the price of these now? I think the price has dipped a little bit, but I still think this is probably about, what, $35, $40? 40 publish. that's not bad. Vivid color. What is this? Well, come on, open up. Oh. A whole box of third-party uh, printer ink. These are always hard to sell. Like the non-name brand printer ink. I don't know what printer this is for. I'll have to do research. It. What, what I want to. You can barely see it. Compatible for five sixty-four. So yeah. Printer ink. Emerson Smart Set. 
real life, real smart. This is another like a smart alarm clock? Maybe. Is this alarm clock number two? Well, it's an upside down. Yes, it is an Emerson Smart Set. It still has the film over the Emerson face that says peel off. So it does appear that this probably has not been used yet since the original film is still on it. it doesn't like look used. So that's, that's not bad. I bet you this is probably a good, I actually don't even know. I probably shouldn't really even guess on this. I'm not even too sure. But Emerson Smart Set Blue Jumbo Dual Alarm Clock Radio with red projection and USB charging. Oh, it even projects it. It's, it's just one of those projector clocks that you have a little tilt arm on it. You can tilt it up. So like the time will like project onto your ceiling, onto your wall. So as you, as you lay in bed, you can just open your eyes and look look at the ceiling. You can say, oh, it's 5.30 in the morning. Cool. Three more hours of sleep. Then go, go back to sleep again. Projector clock. Okay. iPhone cord. Gotta love iPhone cords. Electronics is always full of iPhone cords. This is a fancy box. What is this? It's some kind of a fancy looking watch. What's the brand? Carju? I'm not sure what this brand is. Carju brand? Here's a little tool, I guess, to change the band length, maybe? There's the watch. Carju. Battery works in it. It looks like a really fancy watch. It's not a smart watch. It's just a normal, just like a watch with hands on it. The protector on the bands are something that you're supposed to take those off before you wear it. So it looks like it hasn't even been used yet. Carju, C-A-R-J-U. I'm gonna look this up real quick because I have never heard of this brand, but with the really nice packaging and the watch feels nice. I'm kind of curious about value for for this thing. Be right back. Well, never mind. It's not very, it doesn't cost very much. It's like 20 bucks, but it's it feels like a really nice watch though, but it's not very expensive. That's, that's fine though. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. We have another PlayStation Classic PlayStation. Let's see if it's new or used. It's not fire seal has been opened up. The seal has been broken on it before me. Come on, gather Sony. I know I've gotten this thing like three or four times now. And I kept one of them for myself and I've sold the rest of them. I've been selling them like used condition or new for like 40 bucks, used for like 30. Well, come on, get out of there. It does look used. Yeah, it's used. But, yeah, it's probably about, like I said, used condition in the original box. It's like 30 bucks. So, not bad. Not like, you know, something huge, but it's a cool item to get out of the palette, though. The Sony... PlayStation Classic that came out like Christmas time last year. Yeah, it's not bad. Good 30 bucks. Oh, here's a thing of C batteries. Uh, I probably don't need to keep those. Something like that. I wouldn't actually sell because of the weight. Something like that, a whole thing, like brand new thing of batteries. Not going to like a mystery box. Ooh, this looks fancy. Kensington Expert Mouse. Yeah, these these are kind of pricey. I've looked at these things before. It's still like factory tape shut. The packaging on is just a little bit beat up. Oh, I see. They open it up by the side. Or like whoever bought it first time, they cut it open. But 
Yeah, I think this item is like around $75 to $100. I'm pretty sure it is. Used condition, that's probably a good $50, $75. New, like I think, I think it's like $75 to $100 new. But this is like a very fancy expert mouse wireless trackball. So this is this is a good item out of this palette right here. This is probably gonna be one of the better things I get out is this item. So that's awesome. For Windows and for Mac. But I don't need this, so I won't keep it. But yeah. That's that's good. I'm pretty sure I've already I probably had pretty close to getting all my money back. I paid for this palette $235. So with the trackball, the Sony PlayStation, some of the radios, the record player. I should be very close to getting my money back at this time, I think. Should be. Could be wrong, though. Oh, here is a, is this a replacement? Yeah, it's a replacement face for a cell phone. And it's cracked. So that's trash. Next, what are you? What is this? Is this like a butter dish? Any electronics? It kind of looks like a butter dish. I think, I think it is, right? Oh, it's broken though. Whatever. It is a butter dish. Why is this in there? But all three out of the four corners of this thing are broken and missing pieces. I mean, it's still usable. But yeah, this, this is the butter dish. And electronics. Okay. Yeah, sometimes in pallets, you'll get items that shouldn't be in there. Kind of like this. It's not supposed to be in this palette. See what stinks is you hope though that whatever this is was supposed to be wasn't something like really, really good. Because if it was, you know, you just lost a lot of money. But you never know. Xbox One controller battery charger. So charge your Xbox One controllers. Here's an extra battery pack also. That's probably a good 20 bucks right there. Cool! Tommy Hilfiger watch. Well, that's nice. There's a Tommy watch. That's probably a good 40, 50 bucks, I bet. The face of it, does it have the film on it still? Yeah, the face of it still has that film on it that you take off before you wear it. So it still has the film on it. Yeah, it's still like tied down to it. So that's actually a brand new watch. Tommy Hilfiger watch. Nothing on here says the model of it. Model number 1710294. I guess that's the model number on it. Yeah, the tags are still attached onto the back of the watch. Yeah, new watch. Take it. What is this? Tank one. I have no clue what this thing is. Tank one. I'm not sure. Stumped. Looks like some kind of like a remote or something. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, we got a mystery black box. What are you? Man, it's crunch though. It's probably it's probably a watch replacement band, I bet. And it is probably let's see this connection. Is that for the Apple Watch? I think so. Yeah, it's just a replacement band. I sell most of those things for like like 10 bucks. There's a brand on it, but it's underneath of the label. I can't tell what it is, but yeah. 10 bucks. Wait, what's this? Anchor. 
Oh, this is a portable uh, fast charger or a wireless charger for like your phone or for any smart device that charges wirelessly. Anchor brand. I think I don't need this one. So yeah, this one will be for sale. That's probably a good 30 bucks right there. 25, 30, I bet. Looks to be new. Uh, screen repair kit for a phone. These are a tough, tough sell. I always have trouble trying to sell these repair kits because nobody really wants to buy them. Because most people, whenever you break your phone, you take it into like, like the the Apple Store and they'll fix it for you. Of course, they gouge you in, in, you know, in terms of price, but it's all in there. Yeah, these things are hard to sell, but yeah, I mean, loud squeak, like 20 bucks. A few things left in this box. We have a certified Whirlpool part. I have to research that and see how much that actually sells for. Because some of these Whirlpool parts can get kind of expensive, but I'm sure this isn't very expensive though. Webcam cover. Oh, I'm keeping this. Webcam webcam covers for your computer. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that because I actually need a new webcam cover for my MacBook. And just a phone case, like five, 10 bucks on that. Last thing in the box one, 360 keyboard case for an iPad 9.7. Like Bluetooth keyboard case with light up pad. Oh, it's still factory seal too. So that's probably pretty nice. There's probably like between 30, 40 bucks maybe. That's not bad. So that's their thing for the first box. And I know I'm already in some pretty good profit. So let me box up this stuff. I'll be back with box number two. Box two. We'll keep this thing going. So box one wasn't too bad. Got out some cool stuff, some nice watches. That Tommy watch, that other card you watch, whatever thing was called. A Sony PlayStation Classic, a camera, a couple of really nice alarm clocks. So it wasn't bad. Oh, come on. It wasn't too bad. So here's box number two, and it looks interesting. So I do not see. Oh, that's nice right there. Score. So uh, I don't see any vinyl records, so ah, no records this week. That's okay. Can always get the records because you know how much I love the records. And I always try to get at least a couple maybe I can keep from my record collection and sell the rest, but I don't see any records unless they're on the very, very bottom with everything on top of them. So we'll find out though. Here's a high speed cord, like 10 bucks on that. Swing line, jam free stapler. Wow, that is a heavy duty stapler. Look at that thing. I think it's like the size of a small animal. My goodness. Five bucks though says this thing jams. It says jam free. No staplers jam free. I don't believe that for a second. Not for a second. I guarantee it, if you put staples in that, Drop that in to like a, let's say third grader classroom. Let those kids use that thing to staple our papers. Guarantee they'll jam that thing up. Or just to like a college night class with teenagers and, and adults. Let them use that to staple all semester long. They'll jam it up. Guarantee you. This thing is used, kind of nasty used. Yeah, it's just like a would hold like art project in this thing. Oh, never mind. The whole, the whole back of it's broken. This thing's trash. Disregard. Let me not pull out. That's probably gonna be the best thing in this box right here that's looking at me. Let's save it for a little bit. A few more minutes. Smart lamp. 2.0. Yeah, I've never seen this before in a palette. Liberex Smart Lamp. Doesn't look very smart though. But it says it is a smart one. Oh, okay. Does this thing project? Doesn't look like it's the projector one. 
Oh, yeah, I have no clue price on that. I have no clue that thing's 20 bucks or 40 or 50 or a $65 bill. I'm not sure how much that thing costs. Let's pull out this remote switching system. Lone Long, not Lone, Long Ranger 3 remote switching system. Turn your dust collector or air cleaner by remote control. Saves 50 feet. Huh, okay. Designed for 220 volt dust collectors. Okay. Never seen this before. This is the first time I've ever received this in a pallet. First time. I'll look at thing up later. I'll update below prices on that because I honestly have zero clue. Oh, it looks like this is going to be a little case for like a little Kindle or something. So it's like five bucks right there. Another, is that the same case? Yeah, it is. Samsung Galaxy S7 OtterBox case. This one looks, it doesn't look used, but it looks like there's just dust all over it. So it's, I, it doesn't look used. It just looks like it's been exposed to the air for like a, a year or two. 15, 20 bucks. Let's go ahead, let, let's pull this thing out right here. That's been staring at me, you ready? Here's a good item. Boom! JBL Charge 3 Portable Bluetooth Speaker. That's a good one. I know I have... Somebody put some packing tape on it. I have the JBL Charge 2 that I got out of a pallet that I kept as like a backup speaker to my backup speaker to my backup speaker. I've got like three different speakers. I've got a Bose... Uh, what's that thing called? It's right there. Bose Soundlink 3, I think it is. And I got a JBL Charge 2, and then a Sony Mega Bass Boom thing. So I've got like several backup speakers. Ooh, this looks good. It does look used, so it is not new. It has a few small like little scratches on like the edges of it where you can tell like it just it's been used by somebody. But it's in fantastic shape. It probably has no charge. It probably Oh, it does <laughs> does have a charge. Okay. So it does have a charge to it. So the battery does work on it. And so I'll hook it up, make sure the speakers work, make sure the Bluetooth part of it works. And it, I guarantee it will. I've never had a Bluetooth speaker that didn't work. Instructions for it. Charging cable. But yeah, this is probably a good used condition. Maybe 80 bucks used condition, I bet. New, I think it's like over 100 new. But used is probably, I'd say like 75, 80 bucks, I bet. Could be off a little bit though. I'll quit rambling. Battery tender, automatic charger. Looks like for oh to to uh, jump jump your vehicle. Yeah, that thing's not that thing's not that's not gonna work. I mean, it'll work, but it won't actually jump your vehicle. Oh, that goes into the charge three. Hold on. Pause. I don't want to lose this thing. That's the cover for it. Charge three. Okay, next we have Precision Optics. Filters and lens accessories. Is this for cameras? It is. So, Tiffin filter and lens accessory. There's like an extra lens for it. Some of this stuff can get kind of pricey. Some stuff doesn't. So I have to actually research this update below once I figure this thing out. But that's probably a decent item now. Like a $5 phone case. What else we got? Pilot. Like we got one of these fancy pins. These can also get expensive. Oh, that's a nice box for it. You can always tell how nice the pin is some a good chunk of the time by the actual box it comes in. Well, that's it's a nice box. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but... 
you can kind of tell. Okay, so this is a, uh, oh, what's this thing called? <sighs> Not a quill pen. A, oh, I'm drawing, drawing a blank. This thing might, might actually be kind of nice, though. Might be kind of pricey. But a pilot pen. I don't see a model number on this thing. I have to research this, but I'll update below. I guarantee this has a little bit of value to it. Maybe not like huge value, but it's not a bad item to get. Oh, another high speed cable, like 10 bucks on that. Greeting cards, you're invited. Yeah. USB hub with card reader includes one USB C port. Oh, that's a, that's a nifty one. A little hub with different kinds of cards for like your camera or whatever like reader or card reader. Three USB ports, a USB-C port. This thing looks crazy fancy. Okay, what is this? It has no has no back to it. Both have a back? Or does it go in something? Oh, I guess it actually goes into into like a, a computer or something. Oh, okay. Ah, pick it up in a second. So it goes into a computer. Okay. This item, that's probably a good like what, twenty bucks or so I bet. Twenty, fifteen, something like that. So yeah, not bad. Let's see if I got about 10 things left in here. Oh, we have that, uh, oh, that hair remover thing that you put on your face and kind of like zaps your hair. That's like five bucks without the packaging. Oh, I think I post-it notes. Pop-up note dispenser and some post-it notes. Might have to keep that actually. I need more post-it notes. Pass through series. This RC car parts or something kind of looks like it, but like little loose parts or something. Slimline little extension that fits two cords. It's very small. It's weird. And then we got another looks like a phone case, iPhone 7 8 Plus case. It's a big one. That's like a $10 case. Still factory sealed. So yeah, it's like a $10 case. Let's see. Wilson Control. We got some, oh, it's a tennis thing. I think it's like a, what is this? It says a tennis? Like for tennis? That's all it's in there. There's two of these things. Oh, it's for the racket. Duh. <laughs> Why is this in there? This is sporting goods. That shouldn't be in there. We yeah, like the webbing for a tennis racket. That shouldn't be in there. iPhone char, oh, here is a portable, not portable, a wireless charger again for like your iPhone or whatever smart device you have. Just put your phone on it and it charges it. There's another one. It looks like just like an off-brand, the generic one. Most of those that are like off-brand generic are selling for like $15. Three things to go. We have a, I adore, a temperature gauge. The back of it is missing. So that's not good. The back's exposed. That's probably not going to be a very good item right there in the condition that it's in. Belkin USB-C to HDMI adapter. I could use this. I could actually use this to hook up my MacBook Pro into my TV set. USB-C, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I could. I could hook up my MacBook Pro to the TV set with this thing. Keeping that, that's mine. Last thing, this is it. We have the Sims Collector's Edition with some fancy green jewel looking thing. Sims 3 Collector's Edition includes a Sims 3 exclusive 2 gig, oh that's a USB drive. 
and hips, hips, tips and hints guide and exclusive game content. So there's your little USB drive. Oh, right, there's the game. It's right here. Let me see if it's newer used though. That makes a huge difference. I've actually have never played The Sims. Never had, oh, it is still factory sealed Sims game. So this is The Sims 3. The game's factory sealed. It still has the USB drive. It's just an open package item, but it is still brand new. But it is, or the game is still sealed, but the actual package itself has been opened up before me and by me. So that's that's not bad though. Well, you just come out pretty new. Don't see oh 20 2009 is that right? I think it is. System requirements PC, Windows XP or Windows Vista. Mac, Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard or higher. Yeah, this is an old game right here. <laughs> this isn't worth too much then, it can't be. But the game itself is factory sealed though, so maybe have a little bit of value. I don't know, we'll find out. But anyway, that's what I got. That's all two boxes. So we didn't get any kind of PS4 games or video games. We got the Sony Classic System though, the PlayStation System. We got a wireless JBL speaker, that was super nice. The first box had some cool high-end kind of watches in it, or one that Tommy watch, a camera, uh, there's some decent things. It wasn't, this wasn't like a big wow kind of a palette, like I hoped, you know, we always hope for a big wow palette. No vinyl records, but wasn't bad. This will be profitable. I am going to make money on this palette probably easily. I bet you it's going to be a triple up. My 230, I bet you easily could turn into probably like $650, $700, you know, total. I, I bet it could, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, but thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This was an electronics palette. So I have three more that I purchased and hopefully the other three have some big stuff in it, some big ticket items, maybe some records or video game stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'll have one of those up next Saturday and maybe during the week. Let us see, play it by ear, see what happens. So thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody who takes time out of your day to watch me on YouTube. I really appreciate it. So I'll see you soon. I'm out.